President Zelensky, what are the stakes today? The shouts of questions on Capitol Hill reflecting the uncertainty overseas. How much more funding and support will American lawmakers provide Ukraine in its fight against Russia? It was a very powerful meeting. President Zelensky made it so clear how he needs help. But if he gets the help, he can win this war. I've made this very clear again from the very beginning when I was handed the gavel. We needed clarity on what we're doing in Ukraine and how we'll have proper oversight of the spending of precious taxpayer dollars of the American citizens. President Zelensky meeting Tuesday with top Democrats and Republicans before heading to the White House to ask personally for President Biden's help. That's very important. People need to be confident that freedom is secure and strong enough to win. I've just signed another $200 million drawdown from the Department of Defense for Ukraine, and that'll be coming quickly. But a recent poll shows 48 percent of Americans believe Washington is spending too much on aid for Ukraine. Reports indicate America has spent more than $75 billion in the war so far. That's more than three times the proposed budgets for U.S. Customs and Border Protection and Immigration Enforcement for this current fiscal year. And that's where critics, mostly Republicans, say the focus needs to shift America's southern border, with a record-breaking number of migrants apprehended and at times as many as 10,000 a day this winter. Republicans want more money for border control before doling out more to Ukraine and Israel as well, even if that delays actions until 2024. Unfortunately, this is about the only leverage Republicans have to force this administration to actually secure the border, and I think we ought to take that opportunity because this is our top priority is to secure that border. In Washington, I'm Scott Thuman.